Hello. I wanted to make a quick recording of a new feature in Cloud Suite 10 for data views, which are data view expressions. I am going to do a simple data view example of this. Call it the item value or inventory value. I'm going to add an IDO, my SL items IDO. I'm going to pick a couple of examples of properties here. Item, say the description, and let's see a couple of numeric ones, my unit cost, and something like maybe quantity on hand, or derived quantity on hand. We'll save that. And let's go ahead and launch that. We'll see what we expect. Item description, quantity on hand, and unit cost. So now what I want to do is have something maybe extended inventory value. So we're going to go into expression columns. And we are going to add one. It's going to make sure if I have multiple IDOs in here, I want to choose the right one. I will give it a name, a type. This is going to be a decimal because I know it's going to be quantity times value. Now, here's where we get into the editor here. And for what it's worth, this is what it looked like in the older versions of the data views. That is not this. Here we can bring our functions down, and then what we'll do, I cheated, copied, and pasted my uh, IDO properties here, and we'll save those. I, I'm going to do this just an example of uh, when I first started doing this. It was uh, my intuition that that's what I would do, quantity on hand times unit cost. So I did that, and I came back, and I saved it. Save that. You can see that's up there in my expression. We'll go ahead and see what we get. And what we get is a blank column. So obviously that didn't work. Let's go back and do it the right way. Uh, thanks to Ben Harbrin at Infor and the Infor documentation which, by the way, you can find at mongoose.info.com. You go to the help, uh, these particular expressions that uh, are expression properties here, uh, data view prop, data view property. You can look that up here and kind of see how it's used. Uh, so actually, you've got to wrap your IDO properties inside of that. I don't know what you call it, expression property. So let's do that. Let's take my derived quantity in hand and my unit cost and put them around data view property. And now this is the correct view. We'll take a look. And now I have numbers here. Uh, I got a lot of zeros. That's because I got a lot of zeros on hand. Let's filter out my quantity on hand. Doesn't equal zero. And there you see we have some values. So that is how to do a custom column or calculated column. But another thing you can do here, which is very cool, is I can actually make, uh, I can do expressions on expressions. Uh, or I can actually have a derived expression part of my next formula here. So if I go here and edit this, I'm going to do something just I'm going to say it's over $1,000. I'm going to measure for that. So that's an if statement. Uh, it helps me with my conditions. And here is where I want to put not my data view property, but my data view expression property. And that's the name of my first expression on hand value true false change that to greater than a thousand and we look at that 
we will find true and false. So that is a couple ways you can use expressions in a data view. I hope it was informative and uh, happy data views.